the Fiesta Bowl. College football playoff semifinal number one, TCU and Michigan. Michigan currently a seven and a half point favorite. Total sits at 58 and a half over at BetUS. This one, of course, Saturday, December 31st, New Year's Eve. It is at 3 p.m. Central Time on ESPN. And hey, why don't we go on and pull up the numbers so you can see what we are looking at. I have Michigan favored by over 12 points here. Uh, part of this has to do with the team strength, where CFB Winning Edge has got TCU number 10, Michigan number 4. Uh, but the biggest part here is not so much strength of schedule or anything like that. It is Michigan is a team full of bullies. This Michigan defense is legit. The Michigan offensive line is legit. And that is a big, big issue for TCU. TCU number 73 PPA per rush uh, from week 8 of the season on. Uh, they are number 70 in rushing success rate. Michigan number 17 and number 23. This team lost Blake Corum for the rest of the season and did not skip a beat. Donovan Edwards is legit. You look at all these numbers, like offensive red zone conversion percentage, TCU is number 80 with 81%. Uh, Michigan is number 5, 93.75%. You look at uh, scoring opportunities per game, points per scoring opportunity, Michigan's offense, number 35 TCU's defense is number 81 in points per scoring opportunity. Uh, you move to the other side, TCU's offense, number 76 in points per scoring opportunity, and Michigan's defense is number 7, giving up only 2.78 every time another team gets inside their 40-yard line. This is a big, big deal. Uh, I I look at, you know, PPA margin. Like, TCU certainly fell off towards the end of the season. Like, they just, they could not maintain that. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that they did not get a break from week three of the year on. That was their bye week. Like, that's insane, right? The scheduling dynamic this year was certainly against the Horned Frogs, and yet they, they got through it 12-0 and before they got to the Big 12 title game. But then you saw in the Big 12 title game that they lost. It took some Max Duggan heroics in that game to even get them to overtime. We can quabble back and forth about whether or not he uh, broke the plane of, of the end zone um, <laughs> in overtime. But regardless, we, uh, we ain't going to do that here. Michigan has been pretty dominant. Like, once they got past Illinois, they headed towards Ohio State. They whipped them. They handled Purdue as well. They have got big plays just waiting. They just kind of lean on you, lean on you, lean on you until you get to the second half, and you got nothing left in the tank. And then somebody bust out a big play. Kind of feel like that's what they're going to be able to do here. Like, yeah, you look at these two teams, it's it's very similar uh, to what they're going to be, or what they did do, what Michigan did do against Purdue, against Ohio State, against other teams this year, right? At number six in PPA margin is Michigan since week eight of the season. TCU is number 54. Offensive success rate, TCU is number 88 right now. Uh, Michigan, number 29. Like Michigan's defense, number 27, and defensive success rate allowed. And TCU, number 57. Like The problem is, like again, TCU's rushing success rate allowed, number 70. I don't think that's going to hold up well here. I, I like I like the Wolverines. I, I like Michigan quite a bit to be able to cover by 7.5. Uh, I just I think this should be a double-digit spread. Just, just to guess. Just to guess here. Psst. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show. <laughs>